So you got a Bluehost WordPress website and you want to set up a custom email, but you got a problem. Bluehost has kind of revamped their UI, they've revamped the dashboard, and it's not so apparent how you go about doing that. So I'm going to show you how to create a free email account with your uh, website through Bluehost. And furthermore, we're going to learn how to connect that uh, email address to either Gmail or the web version of Outlook. To create an email associated with a domain name, go to my Bluehost dashboard. And once you're there, you're not going to click on email and office, which is what you think you would be doing. Because if you do that, then you're going to get offered to pay for email with Microsoft 365 or Google Suite. And we don't want to do that in this video. We're learning how to do it for free, or at least as of September 2020, you can do this. So we'll go to advanced, go down to email accounts, and here we're going to click create. Then we're going to enter our email, so zach at wordpress in 20 minutes.com. Give it a good password. This is what you'll log in with, and click create. Now, once you've created it, you're going to click check email. This is going to open up your cPanel, which has got an open source email client called Roundcube. This simply allows you to check email on your Bluehost server. Now, you may stick around for the remainder of the video where we're going to talk about how to set your email up in Gmail or the web version of Outlook, but you very well could use Roundcube or MailSquirrel, um, which are both open source email clients that come pretty much pre-configured with Bluehost um, right out of the box. So you'll need to open up this welcome email. We had checked the box to get this email, but you can also just follow along with what I'm doing. So in this email, you're gonna to wanna to pay attention to this blue box right here. And the reason being is because this is SSL and uh, TLS settings, which basically means the mail that you send is going to be secure and encrypted, and no one's gonna be intercepting your email and, and reading it. So you want to use these settings in the blue box, which I'll put your attention to the POP3 port, which is 995, and the SMTP port, which is 465. Furthermore, your username is uh, the email that you created, and the password is what you just put in a little bit earlier. So using that information, we can now set this email up in either Gmail or the web version of Outlook. You could also set it up in other email clients in a very similar fashion, but I wanted to stick with the two most popular here. So at this point, um, we're gonna cover Gmail first and then Outlook. So if you're wanting Outlook, just go to the video description and click on the timestamp uh, to where I talk about that. So let's get started with Gmail. I'm in my, uh, my personal Gmail inbox. And if we go up to settings, click see all settings and go to accounts and import you're going to see a couple sections here and what we want to click on is the check mail from other accounts and we'll click add a mail account now you're gonna get this pop-up box and we're gonna type in the email account that we just registered so click next you only have one option here so next Again, your uh, username is going to be the same as your actual email, and your password is what you just set up. And with Gmail, it automatically configures what the POP server is, but if you're not getting this populated, it is simply your domain name with mail and then a period at the beginning. This is actually considered a subdomain, and there are DNS rules or domain name uh, system rules set within Bluehost automatically for you that allows this to be the mail server. So we're going to switch this to port 995 for secure settings. And then with all these buttons down here, I'm going to talk about this, but let's go ahead and click all of them. So the first one, it says leave a copy of the retrieve message on the server. Well, what this is going to do is basically, um, if we go back to the round cube and go to the inbox, 
this is I guess considered the server now this is technically an email client but um, this is the it, anything that we see in round cube is going to be what's left on the server so by clicking that we actually are enabling the messages to both exist on the Bluehost server and your email client now um, as far as I know you can uncheck this box and that will save you some space on the Bluehost server which I believe as we filled it out was a maximum of like a hundred megabytes so I would suggest clicking this but if you need to later you can go adjust this and free up some space on your server now the second one this is pretty self-explanatory we used port 995 up here so we also want to use SSL now the next two are kind of correlated so I want to label my incoming messages um, according to the email address and what this will do is just create a little folder in our Gmail that will collect all of the incoming mail from this email address and what I suggest is archiving and skipping the inbox for all these messages because then you know if you're using your personal email as I am here you won't get all of these messages from your website mixed up with your personal mail and you can keep everything nice and separate so go ahead and add this account and then now it's going to ask you if you want to be able to send mail from this address and yes we probably do want to be able to send mail so we'll click next and now this name that we put is going to be whatever like this is what's going to show up in someone's inbox when they get um, an email from this email address so I might just put Zach and then we're going to keep this box checked uh, treat as an alias and you can actually click the learn more to kind of figure out what that's um, actually saying it, there's a decent explanation for it so we'll click next step and again we have the same exact server um, but this time we're going to pick port 465 which is the secure version and again we're going to type in the uh, email that we uh, set up as our username we're going to use SSL and we're going to add the account and now finally it's going to ask, ask us to verify this so that it's going to send an email to your personal email that you will need to grab the code from and put in here excuse me I actually misspoke you go to Roundcube still on the server and open that up and you're going to grab the code that it gives you and then you're going to go to that yellow box paste it in and click verify and so now you will see that if I scroll down to the bottom I have my um, new email as a tag in my Gmail account and I can go in here and actually receive mail so you can see that I um, got a confirmation email and then if I press compose on an email I can not only send um, something as my personal but I can also go down and drop down and grab uh, my email that I just set up and send from there and so the last thing we'll do is go back to settings and we're going to go back to accounts and import and then make sure that this box is checked here where it says reply from the same address the message was sent to and this will just prevent you from getting a email from someone that's visited your site and then accidentally responding with your personal email I always like to keep this checked and that's pretty much it um, you may have to wait 20 minutes an hour or so before everything's running perfectly smoothly because there's some things that have to get propagated in the background um, so if something's not working immediately don't worry just give it a little bit you know go take a break and come back to it and it should be working just fine and for the second part of this we're going to set up our email address in the Outlook or the web version of Outlook to do this go up to your settings scroll down to the bottom view all Outlook settings then go to sync email and click other email accounts now what you're gonna do before you start filling stuff out is go down here and click manually configure account settings and click OK it's going to expand the box out and you can start filling out the form 
So your display name is going to be what people see when they receive an email from, you, from this mail address. So make sure it's descriptive, something like your name. Then you're going to fill out your um, email address. And the username is going to be the same as the email address. And your password is what you put in when you registered this. Uh, I want to create a new folder for imported email. This is basically going to isolate the email that's coming from this address. And so I would recommend this because um, if you are using your personal email within Outlook, you want to kind of keep everything separate. And this is a great way to do that. Now come down and click POP SMTP connection settings because that's what we're going to use. Uh, technically, you could use this first one. Um, so this is just a preference here. And what I'm going to do is type in the server, which is going to be mail dot whatever your domain name is. The incoming server port is 995 for the secure settings that we saw in that blue box from that welcome email. And if we check this leave a copy of messages on the server, it's going to actually leave all of the, uh, the inbox and outbox messages out on our Bluehost server and so we can see it in both Outlook and uh, something like Roundcube which is directly set up with the server. And I would recommend checking this but if you are receiving a ton of email I think the maximum amount of email that you can receive or have in your inbox is about a hundred megabytes. Uh, I think that's what we set up and is the maximum with Bluehost. So you may want to uncheck this if you're worried about space so again, this isn't a huge deal. You can always come back and change it later. Then leave these two options. Don't click this. You know, this kind of defeats the purpose of using secure settings. And then go ahead and check this top box, which is basically going to make sure that the emails are actually coming from this new email address. Then we're going to grab this same incoming server and paste it in the outgoing server. We're going to change the outgoing server port to 465, which is the secure port, and leave this unchecked. You'll click OK. And in a few minutes, you should be able to go to your inbox, and you can click on um, your new email here. So you can see I'd kind of been playing around with this a little earlier, but you can go to your inbox and see that here are the emails that were received uh, from this email. You can even send new email with this address and if you click from and you may have to actually click other email address and type in the email address that you are using. So type in exactly, press enter and then this should be able to actually send mail to another account and eventually you will see it pop up in the from field, um, but this should work even if you just type it in. So that's basically how you set it up. Um, you should be up and running with Outlook with your new website email. If this was a helpful video to you and you learned anything, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And until next time, I will see you later.